You know, Mommy, I think about the day you come back home, and it's just me and you. We're staying up all night, and I'm watching you dancing and laughing, turning round and round. You can't even stop yourself because you're so happy. Two shifts. Tell Lydia I'll come next time, okay? I need money for the bus. It's in my purse. I'm sorry, it's you who has to break the news about Ramon. I don't care what they told you, Iris. It was parole from Attica. Basta, chica. Are you listening to me? Raymond never got transferred to Attica. They released him after eight months at Rikers. Well, something's got to be wrong because he would have shown up. Did you call them? I already called them. Well, call again. You know, I've got better things to do than look for this bastardo. Rosina, look, ask Miko. Maybe he's heard something. I don't know where Miko is. I just got home. Well, can you find him? I need to talk to him. He don't want to talk to you. He's too busy with his friend Montoya. The dealer? That's right, Rosina, that one. You tell him to stay away from no, your kid is driving me nuts. I'll deal with then him. Then you talk to him. He don't listen to me. Tell him to get on the phone. Miko, get your ass in here and talk to your mother. Ahora, pronto. And you, Montoya, get the hell away from here before I call the cops. Oh, damn it, Miko. Visiting room is now open. You may proceed from your section. Nico, why don't you go buy yourself a candy bar so I can talk to my sister in privado? <laughs> Por favor. Okay? Okay. This week, you know what I find in his closet? New gym shoes. Very expensive ones. It's that fucking deal in Montoya. You know, Miko's gonna end up in jail just like you and Ramon. The whole family. I ain't got time to deal with this crap, Edie. Comprende? Listen, I spoke to everybody in the old neighborhood, and nobody's seen Ramon. Now, of course, they could be lying, so if you could just call up a few people for me, okay? You ain't even listening to me. I'm talking to you about your kid, and all you care about is Ramon. Give it up. The son of a bitch doesn't even care about you. He framed you. Ramon never set me up. Oh, Jesus, wake up. You know, you get three to nine for conspiracy, and he's walking in eight months. You tell me he didn't cut a deal? Bullshit. He left you sitting with a car full of drugs. He knew exactly what he was doing. That is shit. And the only reason you're saying this garbage is because you never liked Ramon in the first place. So you give it up. Nobody cut no deal. You don't know what you're talking about. Ramon is crazy about me. Sure. Look, let's not fight about it. I'm gonna give you a list of names. And if you can just call up each of these people on this list and ask forget them it. They... I got a boyfriend I never get to see. Do you know why? Because I'm working two shifts to take care of your kid. When do I get to have some fun, huh? I ain't gonna go find your fucking husband. I'm sick and tired of picking up after your mess. I got a life too, you know? Yeah, at least you have a life. At least you're out there free. Right. I'm out there worrying about you. Feliz cumpleaños, Mika. Go on, make a wish. Blow out the candles. Okay, I'll make a wish for you. The 
this from your mother. She asked me to give it to you. Now you can make more tapes to send to her. Or should I? She don't care. You want to read the card? Want a piece of your cake? I'll cut you a piece, okay, Miko? Miko! Miko! I'm not gonna clean this fucking mess! Chavez! Peroni! <laughs> oh, man, you messed up! Maldita sea, Pero nunca dinero, siempre borracho y Where did you get the new headphones? Did you steal them? Did you? No, I bought them. Yeah, I bet. With money that you got from Montoya. I found this beeper in your shirt, and I know what it's used for. I found it on the street. You're such a fucking liar. Are you starting crack in my house, huh? If you are, I'll break your neck. If I ever see you with Montoya again, that's it. Do you hear me? I'm gonna tell your mother what's going on. She's not coming. Fuck her. Come on, let's go. Come on. Mi querido Miko. So many things that I want to say to you. So many things to say that I'm sorry for. I listened to your tape and I liked it so much. And now I want to make one and send it back to you. Someday, I hope that we can be home and start over. I want another chance to be a good mother to you. And I know it's so hard where you are. But please, mi amor, we have to have hope. La esperanza, sí? I listen to the songs you sent me. It makes me think of things, too. You know what I see? I see me and you, and we're in this new place, really nice. With windows everywhere, where the sun comes in so hot and bright and it feels so warm and I'm there at the stove making our food I see this so clear can you see it too Miko just you and me together yeah mommy I love you Miko <laughs>